Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your May mid-monthly readings. Um, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind the readings are general and please bear with me. I'm recovering from a very long flu. My voice isn't great um, and I'm speaking up as loudly as I can. Um, and I've also opened up private readings again while I'm still recovering in order for me to be able to uh, continue doing readings. I'm just offering the shorter options, the shorter readings now. And then as I get back on track, I'll be introducing the full services again, okay? So let's see what's coming up for you, Libra, for the rest of May 2019. There we go. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands in Reverse. Now, the Knight of Wands in Reverse can talk about a bunch of things. It can talk about uh, delays, first of all, things not moving at the speed you would like them to move. This could also be uh, trouble with a fire sign in your life, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be their sun, their moon, or their rising. Um, this could be some hiccups with um, the process of changing jobs or some hiccups with the process of moving. Um, could be some trouble with vehicles during this time so just make sure that you know everything's checked and serviced and um, everything's fine so let's see what's going on here get more information okay um, looking at the rest of the cards okay this is also someone's trying to, this might be you or it could be someone else that you're dealing with, remember the energies can go both ways, um, moving forward is blocked or moving away is blocked for whatever reason or there's a struggle there. Um, in the current situation we have the tower in reverse. Now with the tower in reverse, for some of you it's coming up as trying to heal something that basically it, it can be put back together, okay? Um, I feel like it's showing up in reverse for some of you to tell me that the tower happened several times within the situation, okay, the tower energy. Uh, so things crumbled several times within the situation, and it could be a relationship, it could be a, a job situation, uh, a relationship with the family or friend, uh, something like that, okay? Um, and that's how it comes up for some of you. It's like, okay, no, it, it can be put back together. Um, for others of you, there's trouble with the property you're in, but you're not able to move out. Something to do with the lease or something to do with the contract, okay? You're not happy with, it could be, you know, property, the, the place you live in uh, or rent, but um, it could also be just the situation you're in. You were, went into it thinking it's going to be one thing, turns out it's not. Um, but you're kind of stuck there for, for the time being, okay? The challenge, we have the Nine of Cups in, in, in the upright. So with the Nine of Cups, this is, you, cut, you, you got your wish. Um, in a situation, you got what you asked for. However, I feel like what was sold to you was not the truth. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, for others of you, you're not happy in the situation you're in because you're dealing with someone who's being... Um, very self-indulgent. This could also be like a landlord, you know, who has multiple properties. It's like they, they always do this. So this isn't a surprise to them that you're complaining now, but they don't really care or not want to do anything about it. <clears throat> and I also feel like for some of you, um, There's a sense of, of pride. You might be going through some stuff, but you're too proud to ask for help. Or because this is something that you actually uh, wanted and made a fuss over, hey, I got it. Now it's like, well, I can't complain about it now. Let's keep going. In the foundation, we have the Queen of Cups. Now this could be water sign energy, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so I'm going to rising. 
uh, and this is also linked to the Nine of Cups, and it's also linked to the Moon energy. So for some of you are dealing with the Water sign, I feel like you're dealing with the Water sign is very um, unstable. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe they have a drinking problem, maybe they have something affecting their hormones, or um, or something along those lines. And it's like, well, this is going on um, in our home, but no one else can know about it. Um, and you feel like you, you can't leave this person, maybe, you know, it's because you care about them very much, or you're still trying to help them, or um, you might have children with them. Okay. Um... Because there's a lot of love and there's a lot of compassion in this Queen of Cups. And I feel like that's why you're trying to put something back together. Because there's still some, there's still love there. There's still compassion for one another there. Okay. In the past, we have the Moon in Reverse. With the Moon in Reverse, I feel like... Again, this is about cycles. I feel like it, the person you're dealing with... Or the energy of the situation you're dealing with is very up and down. Um, it's great for a while, then it's horrible. Then it's great, then it's horrible. And it's very, very uh, exhausting. It's like an emotional roller coaster that you've been dealing with for quite some time. You've known about this for quite some time, but you're trying to keep it together. Okay? You're trying to prevent the tower from happening. You're trying to keep things from collapsing. Or you're trying to keep you know, the, the keep things in house while they're trying to figure it out. For some of you, this could also be about, um, someone's talking about therapy, couples therapy or something like that. And then the, the other person is just not, not willing to do it. They're just blocking it off the bat. And the crowning thoughts, we have the six of swords. So there, there's, there's been a lot of stress, chaos, drama. The Six of Swords is like leaving with a heavy heart. It's like, you know what? I don't I don't know what to do anymore. All I know is I just want peace. I just want peace and quiet. Whether that's with you or without you, I don't care anymore. I just want my peace and quiet. I want to breathe. I want to be okay. And I want to be at peace. For some of you, this could talk about a separation. Because, you know, someone's taking the kids and, and, and leaving temporarily. Um, or you're leaving temporarily, you know, with this being um, air sign energy. You might have given someone some sort of ultimatum with the tower energy here in, in reverse. It's like, I don't want to do this, but unless this changes, it's going to happen. And this person that you're dealing with, that could be a water sign, they're very, very proud. And they're like, no, I don't care. Even though you have feelings for each other, this pride, it's like, no. They're, they're kind of, they think you're bluffing and they're trying to call your bluff. And this could be a separation. Now in the outcome, we do have the death card upright. So if this is the situation, I feel like the separation will turn into a permanent one. So it could be like a breakup. Um, but I feel that you're at peace with the situation. Because again, with the tower being uh, your first card and the moon in reverse there, this has been going on. For quite some time you've stopped you i feel like you've stopped yourself from leaving a few times okay and this is just you keep going that's what this is you keep going you don't go back <clears throat> okay for others of you let's have a look If this is a situation going on in your job, I feel like progress is blocked. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a boss that has unrealistic expectations. They know they're unrealistic expectations. They don't care. They want to have a reason to say no to you. It was promised to you. It was offered to you. But it's like they're taking it back. It's like, um, it's, you know what I mean? It's like, first they tell you you're not going to have to, um, first, it's like someone telling you the job is yours. Tell me when you're ready to start. And then when you're saying, okay, I want to start at this time, they're like, uh, yeah, but, you know, you still have to interview. So I'm like, same as everybody else. You might get it, you might not. 
You know, there's that kind of energy. So someone's just kind of playing games here. And you might actually walk out on that job. Because I feel like, again, this has been going on for a while. It's like a dead-end job. And I feel like with the support of your family, they're encouraging you. To, you know, they're saying, we'll be okay. We have money put aside. Uh, or we can help you out while you find something else. Or you know what I mean? With the support of your family, friends and family, they're saying, get yourself out of that situation. And so you're, you're just, you're done with it. You're handing in your notice because they keep blocking your progress. Saying one thing, doing the opposite. For others of you, the situation with the landlord, I do feel that you'll be able to move out with the Six of Swords up right there. I do feel like you'll be able to move out. Uh, you might have to go to an intermediary. Okay, I don't know who that would be. Like a, a I don't know, tenants? Is there a tenants association? Is there something like that? Or you ask someone to step in and when they investigate, you know, and bring things to light, they're like, yeah, they, they release you from your contract, basically. <clears throat> so with the Tower in Reverse and the Nine of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. So this is accepting help, asking for help. You know, when the Five of Pentacles is, up, is upright, it's like uh, you feel like you have nothing but you, you're not looking around because there's support there, there's help there, but you're not looking for it or you're not willing to ask for it. But it's in reverse. You're like, okay, what are my options? What are my options? I don't like this. I want to do something about it. There's got to be something who can help me. Okay, so that's that's the, the situation here. With the Queen of Cups, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's um, immature. You know, if this is the, the relationship situation or the situation with the member of your family where they're being very proud, they don't want to talk about things. Someone definitely has a problem there with their with their emotions, whether it's caused by an addiction uh, or an imbalance in their home or something like that, okay? Um, but someone definitely has a problem there. And you're dealing with someone who's very immature. Um, and again, it's like, talk 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 they they love to talk they they say all the right things they make all the right promises but they just never they never see it through they never take action on what they're saying in the past we have the moon in reverse with the nine of wands so whatever the situation is that you're dealing with you've been dealing with for quite some time you know that's the nine of wands there and it, it, it's got you to your wit's end to the end of the line with the six of swords we have the empress in reverse so again, walking away from a situation that is, is not rewarding, walking away from a situation that is depleting you financially, mentally, emotionally. With the death card, we have the two swords in reverse and the strength card. So this decision that you're making to end something is final. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. And you're stronger for it. Okay, you're headed towards stability and better health, mind, body, soul. Okay, so for some of you, it just means you're standing on your own two feet, financial independence, maybe starting your own business, working from home. Further, this is a changing your job, and that brings you financial stability and independence and puts you in a position where you're valued and appreciated. You're going uh, from a difficult, troubled relationship to being single and much happier for it. And there's no doubt in your mind that you're doing the right thing. Okay, so that's good because it, that will prevent you from going back. For others of you, I feel like this is also the breakup happened a while ago. And they're trying to come back. They're trying to come back and they're saying what you want to hear. They're promising you what you want to hear. I do feel like with the Nine of Wands, you're thinking, you know what? I kind of heard that before. Um, and the, the 
There's been too much love lost, okay? There's been too much lost because of the situation. And that's why you know in your heart that the right thing to do is to keep going away from the situation. A different scenario that comes up is if you have been recovering from a breakup, even though you're still shaken, even though you're still uh, trying to find your footing, there's love opportunity there, maybe from this water sign, because this could be Scorpio as well, giving you a new beginning, a transformation of your love life as it were, okay? They're there for you. Maybe this could be a friend that is um, trying to tell you they want to be more than a friend. But I do feel like you're not looking for this at this time. You're just trying to get yourself back on track. So this could also be like a refusal. A gentle rejection, but, you know, you want to be on your own for a while. If that's the case. Again, remember, these are general. It's not going to speak to everyone. And if everything's going well for you, then, you know, awesome. And I'm happy for you. But th these readings, we're asking for messages, for guidance uh, on, on difficult situations we may be dealing with. So that's really what's coming up, you know. Um, so everything's going well for you. Excellent. And I'm very, very happy for you. <clears throat> and this is not going to be for you then. Okay, so, so yeah, that's, that's your reading. That's your reading, Libra. You're getting yourself out of uh, a bad situation with the support of others. And it's really, it's a very, very big turning point in your life. Because you do get the peace, stability, confidence, abundance that you're looking for and hoping for by doing this, by turning your back on the situation that just brings chaos and instability in your life and keeps you in, in, in one position because you can't move forward with the situation. But it is eating away at you, you know? So yeah, let me know how the cards make sense to you, if they, if they speak to you, if they apply to you. Uh, remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, any other sign you want to watch. Make the most of the energy, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.